Hello there everyone and welcome back for another mod review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Bones Collection mod pack by Eagle 355th. This is a 9 piece pack and there is 6 zip files included with this. So when you download the file guys you will have to unzip the first zip file. Take out the 6 zip files inside and put them on in your mods folder. This also has an error free log. File size for this is 121 megabytes and all the mods are washable. So what this includes is one harvester, two headers, two balers, two tractors, one semi and one tipper. So what I'm going to do guys is I'm going to discuss a few things regarding these mods. We'll go over the shop and check out some of the specs. Then we'll get them out on the field and test them on out. So I hope you can stick around to the end and let's get started. Okay guys, first up we have the Bones Harvester New Holland CR1090. Price in the shop is 425000 with a $15 a day maintenance fee. The power for this is 480 kilowatts and 653 horsepower. Has a max speed of 26 kilometers an hour and a capacity of 250,000 liters. Big old capacity on it. This thing just looks great too. Comes with two headers. You get a corn and sunflower header and our regular grain header. We'll be taking a look at them in a second. Just want to take a little uh, zip around so you can see how cool this looks. So we'll test that out in a second. Just want to go over the headers here quickly. There's the two headers that come with it. The one in the front, the green header, that is the New Holland Super Flex Draper 45 foot grain header. Price in the shop is $45,000 with a $20 a day maintenance fee. It has a work width of 13.7 meters and a work speed of 20 kilometers an hour. The smaller header there in the back, that is the New Holland 980CF12R Corn and Sunflower header. Price in the shop is $44,000 with a $90 a day maintenance fee. Has a work width of 9 meters and a work speed of 20 kilometers an hour. So let's test out our harvester here and then we'll go over to the shop and check that all on out. He has his own little category over at the shop by the way, it's Eagle 355 Productions, very nice. Everything's conveniently located right there. Let's jump on inside and we'll test a few things out. Start it on up. Try out some lights. One, two, three light settings. Try out our signal lights, hazards and beacons. Everything works there just great. Try out our horn. Let's look inside the cab. Nice looking interior. Very nice. Let's unfold it. So that is the New Holland CR1090 Bones. Okay next up we have the New Holland T9 Bone Skin Tractor Price in the shop, this is as is, $225,000 with a $560 a day maintenance fee. There is two different engine sizes. We have 345 kilowatts and 469 horsepower and 410 kilowatts and 557 horsepower. That is the smallest and biggest ones. She could take it with regular wheel weights or twin wheels. Has a max speed of 40 kilometers an hour. Let's take a little look around at this. It looks awesome all done up in black. Very nice. Let's jump inside. Start it on out. Looks super heavy duty with the duels on it there. Okay, let's try out some lights. One, two, three light settings. Let's try out our signal lights. Hazards are a go. Uh, beacons. Horn. Everything seems to work just fine. Let's take a look inside the cab. Very nice. I don't believe any of these have IC controls. No, just as is, which is fine. Okay, we'll be testing this out momentarily. Okay, next up we got this really nice looking uh, Peterbilt here. This is the Bones Peterbilt 388 Semi. This is as is in the shop. Price in the shop is 125000 with a $25 a day maintenance fee. Power is 405 kilowatts and 550 horsepower. Very powerful. And the max speed is 90 kilometers an hour. Very fast, very powerful, and looks great too. Just jump on inside, start it on up, nice tinted windows. Sounds like a beast too, listen to it. Oh, I can see the skull in the grill there, very nice. I'm glad he didn't overdo it with the skulls. It looks very nice just the way it is. Okay, try out the lights. One, two, three light settings. Our signal lights, hazards, there we go. No beacons on this. 
Did the overheads come on? Yes, they did. Okay, let's try out our horn. Horn's a little low. Still hear it though. Let's take a look inside the cab. Very nice looking interior. Check that out. Very well done. Beautiful. That's cool. Shows the uh, temperature there. Seems like all the ga gauges work just fine. Okay, next up we get this beautiful looking Massey Ferguson. This is the Massey Ferguson 8700 Black Edition tractor. Price in the shop is $1,000. Very cheap. If you get it fully loaded, I think it's $2,000. Daily maintenance fee of $50. There's three different engine sizes to choose from. I'll give you the smallest and biggest. Smallest is 331 kilowatts and 450 horsepower. The biggest one is 509 kilowatts and 692 horsepower. What a beast this is. Four different wheel setups, of course, a max speed of 50 kilometers an hour. Uh, this is the 8700 series. Very beastly looking with the uh, the duels on it. Let's jump on inside, start it on up. Try with some lights. One, two, three light settings. Oh, that looks awesome. Got the uh, skull on the front there. And on the uh, back. Fenders. Okay, so let's try out some signal lights. Nice bright signal lights. Hazards work just great. Try out our beacons. Good to go. Horn. Okay, let's look inside the cab. Very nice looking interior. Let me bring up my toolbar here just to see if there's, make sure there's no added functions up in the toolbox hiding. Get a digital and a regular speedometer there. So, that is the Massey Ferguson 8700. Okay, next up we got this awesome looking tipper that goes along with the semi. Looks really cool there. I like how the skulls are down on the uh, bottom plate there. As you can see, it has a digital display on the side too. This is the Cat Bones trailer for the semi. Price in the shop is $48,000 with an $80 a day maintenance fee. Has a capacity of 200,000 liters. So this can haul some serious grain and looks fantastic. Looks really good hooked up to the Peterbilt too, guys. Got a black top on it there. And last but not least, we have our two balers. We'll start with the square baler. This is the New Holland Big Baler 1290 square baler. Price in the shop is $75,000 with a $10 a day maintenance fee. It has a work speed of 30 kilometers an hour and a capacity of 4,000 liters. It works on hay, grass, and straw and has a required power of 136 kilowatts and 185 horsepower to be able to pull this. Next, we have the New Holland Roll Belt 150 round baler. Price in the shop is $75,000 with a $10 a day maintenance fee. Work speed of 30 kilometers an hour, capacity of 4,000 liters. It works on hay, grass, and straw, and a required power to pull this is 51 kilowatts and 70 horsepower. So this looks great all hooked up to the tractors and stuff, guys. By the way, the tipper has, you can take it with a hitch or without the hitch, so you can actually attach multiple ones together. There's a small baler here. Yeah, these things just look great. Okay, let's go over to the shop and we'll take a look at all this. Like I said, it's all in one category here. And from left to right, there is nine pieces in total. So I'm going to get a few things set up out in the field and we'll test these on out. All right, let's take our harvester for a spin. We'll get them set up over in the field. You can see how great this thing runs. here so we can see what's going on. Just want to make sure the harvest speeds are all matching up here. Harvest speed at 20 kilometers an hour. So this thing works just great guys. Hired a worker, no problem. So we're just going to let him continue on and we will jump over to the next one. Okay, we'll take our T9 out for a test spin. We'll hook up to the baler. Grab the square baler. That way I can test both of them out at the same time. Yeah, these... I love this mod pack, man. It looks great. I think we're going to add this to our next Let's Play. And if I didn't mention it before, there is no errors in any of these mods. And the fact that everything's souped up a little bit makes it worthwhile. Not a crazy amount, but a good amount. I like 200,000 liter capacities. That's just perfect. Okay, let's set up our baler here. Switch 
back to our tractor, turn on our beacons for the full effect, and we're off. Nice work speed, 30 kilometers an hour. Not bad at all. Shut our baler down, we'll eject our bales. That works just fantastic guys. Gonna pull this guy to the side and we'll move on to the next one. Okay, let's take our Massey Ferguson 8737 for a whirl. Gonna grab this round baler and we'll test these out at the same time. Now look at that, that thing, this looks great. What a nice combo. Nice and quiet on the inside too. Max speed 53 kilometers. And we'll start making some bales. Oh, that fills up fast. Especially at a 30 kilometer work speed, you're going to be dumping that quite often. But that's to be expected. Alright guys, that works just fantastic. We'll pull him to the side and move on to the next one. Okay, let's grab our Peterbilt here. Fire it on up. This thing sounds really good too. Let's hook up to our Bones trailer. Fits it just perfect. Give you a look inside. 200,000 liter capacity. Let's take this thing for a whirl. 90 kilometer an hour max speed. Very nice. Okay, let's go empty our friend over here. Nice unloading speed. Very, very nice. Alright. So there you have it, guys. That was the Bones Collection Mod Pack by Eagle 355. File size is 121 megabytes. Additional information and links can be found down below in the description. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's review. If you did, maybe you can leave a like on your way out. And if you're new to the channel, guys, why don't you go ahead and click on Nick right there in the middle of your screen and I'll bring you new mod reviews every second day and let's plays every other day plus my patreon link is just below that if you'd like to help me contribute to the channel it really helps out so until next time take care and we will see you guys all in the next one